What's up, curd nerds? <laughs> this is Sean. I'm Eric. And this is Whiskey and Why. Here we are again. So, today we are going to be going over proper 12. Oh. Technically, what we're doing is we are breaking the international travel ban and we are leaving America and we are going straight to the motherland of Ireland. Yes, that's correct. So, this is Conor McGregor's whiskey. It's delicious. I've had it before, and I'm very excited to review it on this. This, uh... this thing that we do? Yep. Okay. Um, I've had it before, too, and I'm not going to lie. I'm a little scared to review it on this time, because the last time that I had it, I don't remember what the fuck happened. I mean, it's And um, I had a hell of a day the next day, so... This might be a little rough to get down, but... I'll do my best. So I'm going to go ahead and touch on a little bit of the history about this real quick. Uh, While you do that, I'm going to open it up. Fantastic. Thank right. you, Eric. So, <clears throat> Proper 12 is a uh, whiskey by Conor McGregor. Mm -hmm. Okay, he had the help of Bush Mills Distillery Manager, David Elder. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a feature featuring malt and grain whiskeys drawn from bourbon barrels. Uh, I think most Irish whiskeys are made this way, and of course, to be an Irish whiskey, they have to be bottled in Ireland. As this one is. It is. I think strictly for that purpose, too, to be an Irish whiskey. Uh, Proper 12 gets its name from Dublin 12, which is the area where McGregor grew up. That's all I'm going to tell you. That's all you need to know. Well, um, how did, how did uh, Connor even get involved in whiskey? For being uh, an athlete like that, you don't really think that an athlete would be a drinker. It's the same. But he's Irish, so it's kind of like saying. But when he's Irish, yeah. and it's the same way that uh, Danny DeVito got into Lemoncello. Hmm. Um, what is it? Ryan Reynolds got into gin. And then who else did we have? What was that tequila? George Clooney's tequila. Ah, Casamigos. I like that one a lot. And I don't even like tequila, but Casamigos is really good. And then you got Matthew McConaughey's Long Branch Bourbon. All right, all, all right, right, all right. right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we can't forget about Canadian Countryman Drake's <laughs> Virginia Black American Whiskey. I'm I'm really intrigued by this. Is it is it like a knockoff Crown Royal? What, what what's going on here? Why do you say that? Oh, I mean, it's Canadian and it's Drake. <laughs> it's true. So well. Since we're already abroad, maybe we'll fly on over to Canada soon. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Yeah, find out what that's going to be. <laughs> oh, the boot. So, speaking of Conor McGregor, well, we'll get into this in a minute. Well, maybe I'm we'll jumping the gun here. You are. You're, you're, I'm jumping the gun. You're already ahead of the fact. We haven't even... Let's try this whistle. Mm. It's, it's fairly clear. When, when in comparison to a so, lot of whiskeys, yeah, so really it's, it's, it's not as dark as, as a lot of the whiskeys that we've had before. No. So. No. And the smell is not as strong as the past two whiskeys that we had. It has, it actually has a, a slightly sweeter scent. It does. It doesn't have the caramel scent that a lot of the ones that we've had had. Right, which is some of the notes I was reading. It says that the caramel stands out in this. I don't, I don't, I don't smell, know. I actually smell vanilla and alcohol. I do smell a lot of vanilla and alcohol. Yeah. Let's give it a little. Let's see what packs the punch. Well, see what I did there? I mean, sm <laughs> <laughs> No, what was it? I feel like every sip I'm going to get another hit in my ass beat a little bit more. You want to taste? I I love the way this one tastes. It really is smooth as hell. It, it's it, very smooth. It's. I, Amazing uh, sipping whiskey, in my opinion. Again, you can taste the vanilla. Um, I think you taste a little bit of caramel. It's it's very faint, in my opinion, but... Uh, the vanilla is my favorite part. My I'm, a, I'm a vanilla guy. You know what I mean? That's very plain of you. Yeah, well, you know how I live. It's, uh, yeah. That's fine. Vanilla in the streets and chocolate in the sheets. Is it... That's fine. I like it though. This Good. is this is one of my favorite whiskeys. 
This is definitely my favorite right now. It's been my go-to for yeah. quite some time. This is one of those, um, so we had Woodford Reserve. Correct. And we had St. Augustine Distillery. Yes. This is more as uh, what I would call a party whiskey. Absolutely. I, right? I or social? I for sure, in fact, I have brought this to different places <laughs> when I've showed up. Like, hey, I got the proper 12. <laughs> I don't remember that, but... Yeah, well, that's because you drank the brown toy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is this is more of a social whiskey, uh, whereas the Woodford Reserve, I believe, is more of like a sit-down with a cigar and really sip whiskey. Right, sit by a fire, yeah. read a book. This, I, could, I could drink a 12-pack and chug this. Interesting. I, I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> you have, though. I've seen it. <laughs> this is true. I don't remember that, but yeah. I trust you. <laughs> So anyways, um, my rating, as far as smell, this is one of the better smelling whiskeys for me. I give it, I give it an 8 on smell. Okay, see, I'm, I'm going to agree with you on the 8. And, and go, let, let me just remind you about our scale. We did uh, 1 through 10? Yes. And then... 1 through 10? And then we did a... 1 through 10. Right. Yes. But now we're adding a new one. And it's, it's going to be at the end. And it's going to be a 1 through 10. <laughs> 1 through 10. Stay tuned. You'll find out. Um, taste, taste. I give it a nine. Like it tastes awesome. I absolutely love, I love this whiskey. It. Yeah, it's a great whiskey. He did a really good job. Um, have no complaints. Now let me ask you: Do you think that how much of his hand uh, was involved in this? I mean, I, I feel like if you were the brewmaster and you fucked this up, that was your ass. So when I was reading it, they went through quite a lot of barrels before right. they found the exact taste that he wanted. So I mean, I think he had a pretty pretty big hand in it. Good. Yeah. I think he had a lot to do with it, and uh, one of the quotes, actually, that he had, which I thought was really awesome, um, right underneath Drake's whiskey. <laughs> We're going to have to look for that. We yeah, definitely need I gotta to. I got to check that out. Yeah. So, he says, I learned the values of loyalty and hard work. I respect other Irish whiskeys, but I'm coming in strong with passion and with purpose. I am the founder of this company, and I'm going to give it my all. Which is awesome. He did. He nailed it. He did. Awesome whiskey. So, good job, Connor. Cheers to you, Connor. And uh, Ireland. Mm. So, speaking of Croft, Connor, um, have you seen his sparring thing with the mountain from Game of Thrones? Uh, no. See, that, that's uh, another thing. I've only seen two episodes of Game of Thrones. God, man. Oh. Uh, Sick. I'm sorry. Sick. Sorry. So, anyways, uh, Conor McGregor had this whole sparring thing with the uh, mountain from Game of Thrones, and I think it's interesting <laughs> just because of the size difference of these two bastards. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, there, there's a. This is him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go on. Come on. Like this. I, not the type of music I thought they would be sparring to. No, definitely not at all. I, I, this is more like a, like a bear and cub thing. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like he's also like a little spider monkey. Connor? Yeah. No, no, Connor. Give me a kiss. All right, well, I'm over that. That's, in, that's intense. But I mean, the size difference is insane, and he is, compared to that dude, he is a little... Almost he's a spider monkey. monkey. Almost spider monkey. Compared to that guy? I mean, they call him the mountain. Yeah, yeah. I wonder why. Mm. Mm. That's not big socks. <laughs> you know what that means? He wears big shoes. Big shoes. Big shoes. All right, let's talk about some news in Ireland. Ah, uh, now, this is my forte. Mm. <laughs> Irish news? Irish news. Yeah, I know. I know, that's why we picked this one. Okay. All right. Does Take it away. Does Mexico make a whiskey? Find out. Mm. If they do, let us know, if you know about one. Yeah, we, we need more people to leave comments and, and feedback as far as what you're looking at. And uh, what am I looking at? I'm looking out the window right now. So I see a fern. Hmm. Is that your wife walking in the backyard? Hopefully. Hmm. Anyway, uh, in Ireland, there was a five-hour prison hostage standoff. And it ends in a candy bar exchange. Perfect. 
clearly not America and not San Quentin. Well, I can guarantee you it was probably a really good candy bar though, right? Uh, we would hope so, but I hate to be the bearer of bad news that unfortunately that candy bar would have to be a Mars bar. A Mars bar? When was the last time you had a Mars bar? Have you ever had a Mars bar? I don't think so. I've never had a Mars bar. The name sounds terrible. What, I what exactly does a Mars bar consist of? Uh, uh, is there nougat involved? Is there peanuts? Like, is it packed with... What? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna... Can, can you pull up what, I the ingredients of a Mars, Mars bar? Is, we're fucking idiots. We should have... I, I have a feeling like like beforehand. I, I'm pretty sure that I've seen that it comes in a red wrapper. A Mars bar. I don't know. It sounds... I don't know. No, no, it's black. I'm, it does have red on it. It's got red writing, but I'm uh, completely see, wrong what? in any of this. Let's see, it's made in England. That's why England makes terrible candy. I've never really had England Eng candy other than English talk. Candy from England is terrible. Well, I guess we are not getting any sponsorship from England. So we're good for that. <laughs> if we would have got sponsored by England, that would have been something else. <laughs> would we give it back? Let's. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pump the brakes. I don't know if we really. <laughs> no, I don't know if we're in that position. Yeah. Where you'd be like, you know, eh. I think we're we're good. We're good. We're good. Thank we'll, you. We'll take a good old Thank fashioned uh, Hershey yeah. Pennsylvania chocolate. You can have it. You can have it. Anyway, this prison standoff ended with a Mars bar, because clearly both inmates weren't that pissed off at each other. So, one had a Mars bar, the other one said, "Here's a good headline." Hey, mate. Thanks. I'll take that. Hey, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, Is that how they talk over there? I mean, that's the only thing that I could picture. Oh, good them. day, mate. Good day, mate. Thank you for the Mars bar. Appreciate it. See you next week at Canteen. <laughs> I can't. Why can't I figure this out right now? All right, so iconic, iconic nougat. That's a tongue twister and a half. Go ahead, say it. Iconic nougat. Three times. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and almond-filled little chocolate bar. Sounds space-age, iconic nougat. <laughs> iconic nougat is ready for blast-off. <laughs> We've gone ludicrous speed with iconic nougat. <laughs> oh, well, I'm done with that. Yep, moving on. There's really not much news in Ireland right now. That was the problem we had. But I did find one piece of pretty awesome news. There's news throughout the world, though. Well, I mean, this, this is, this is big news. Oh, boy. Have you heard about this yet? Uh, no, I'm reading about this now. So, apparently, there was a jogger in Ireland. Uh, I think it was Killinger or something like that. I'll tell you in a second. But he spotted on his jog, during the outbreak of coronavirus, he's seen none other than who I always think of when I think of Ireland. But he, he saw... Matt Damon. Unbelievable. I get it. I get it now. He was out there jogging. That's it. And uh, <laughs> but why? I don't know. Randomly? It's, it's you know, it's Matt Damon. And he can do whatever the hell he wants. Why? Because Matt <laughs> Damon. Enough, Eric. I also think he was a Florida resident, too. Really? Yeah. He probably uh, shares like a condo with Vanilla Ice. We can only hope. Yeah. They own a kangaroo together. Locally? Remember that? I do. Yeah. Side note. Vanilla Ice, his kangaroo got loose in our city. And it, was, it was a big deal for a minute. That was our best news. Kind of like Matt Damon jogging. Fuck. I said this whole show I was not going to say his name. You fucking said it. You said it. Just X out. Just clear the story. You yeah, fucked this it's up. It's over. I'm sorry. You fucked I the fucked whole story up. I, I don't even want to see somebody I'm not going to say. Name. How do you feel now? Better I feel like... Matt Damon. <laughs> As you should. As you should. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this vanilla notes. It is good though. I love it is this really good. I, I really enjoy this whiskey a lot. Now, here's something that I would really like to know is if anybody else has had any kinds of opinions on this type of whiskey or this particular brand, if you will. 
We just want you to communicate with us. Say something. Like, just talk to us. Uh-huh. You know what? Lately, um, civilization has gone into speaking with emojis. I know I have. I'm guilty of it. We've basically bringing language back to hieroglyphics. I respond to him 90% of the time with an emoji. Hieroglyphics. I'm more of a gift guy myself. A lot of times, it's the middle finger. We're trying to yeah. censor ourselves right now, so... That's, that's usually when it's not, like, promiscuous nudes that he sends me for no right. damn reason. Right. And, and to group chats. These things. Oh, yeah, those. Right. Finger so, even if it's just emojis, leave a comment. Let us know what you think about the whiskey. Let us know what you think about his stash. Just talk. Especially the stash. Talk to us. I mean, the whiskey, it's whatever. I kind of wish you guys could have seen my shirt earlier because, um, for one, this is a brand new shirt of mine. It, it's wonderful. I love it. I actually got it two days ago. It was vacuum sealed. I was impressed. It's from a friend of mine's company, Strength Division. Uh-huh. And unfortunately, good plug. Yeah, that was a good plug, right? <laughs> unfortunately, I washed it with a rug and I had a lot of lint on it. And he would not allow me on the show today because he said that my shirt looked like I washed it with my cat. It was ridiculous. He comes, you don't show up to record a show and you're covered in, he's basically um, wearing actually, a fur coat. I, be- I believe the term you said to me was, you don't give a F about this show, do you? <laughs> I did. Yeah, that, that's, that's what you said to me. So he- Nice made, save. Yeah, he, he, he made me take F. the shirt off and he put it in his dryer and he took all the lid off and he saved it, it was great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because of this is the only shirt he could wear today, that's apparently. Because that's what I wanted to wear. <laughs> no matter what. I like the shirt. So, our last one. <laughs> oh! Since we're so, we're so thirsty for news because from Ireland. The only thing that's going on on this planet right now is a virus. Yeah. Yeah. We all know about it. Of the corona. We don't give a shit to talk about it. Because I'm, there's I'm plenty so of over it. No, there's not. It's getting plenty, worse though. There's not plenty of other things to talk about because that's all that's going on. <laughs> there isn't. If, if there was, we'd be talking. We'd about have it. better news. So what we have here is a priest doing the floss dance. Let's check it out. Oh, oh man, look at him go. Mm. Mm-hmm. Something about the way he's moving. Uh, well, I mean, right, let's go back here. Let's see. No. 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 He's too tight. He needs to loosen up. Oh, oh come on, man. Like, what does he got? Like, two left feet? What? Oh, now he's pointing at an yeah, altar. Like, oh, you guys do it. Yeah, he's like, oh, come on. Hey, hey come hey. on. Hey. <laughs> Give us a gun. He's acting like he's at a wedding. He's, he's pulling people out onto the dance floor, but it's not even a dance floor. I don't so. know. He was too tight. Uh, he should have practiced. You know what it was? It was, it was the collar that he had on. It was the priest collar. You think so? Yeah, it was too tight. There's a lot of pressure being a priest, especially in the Catholic Church. Uh, you gotta put out the candles. Uh, right? Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of little boys, let's talk about Patty Losty. Now Patty the Pintman. Anybody who's from Ireland knows who Patty the Pintman is because yeah. he is a local hero. Unfortunately, him and I are from Florida, so we don't really know who he is. Don't know much about him, tried to look up when he died, don't know shit. But the internet seems to like to use the same picture over and over again. We have pretty learned. Sure, pretty sure that's it is the true. same photo of this poor guy. But if they were going to use any picture of this guy, it's going to be this one. It, this was the picture to use. This guy is. I mean, look, he looks like he's. If you were to show me this picture, I would be like, his name's Patty. Obviously. Yeah, I would have said drinks his, a lot. I right? would have said his last name is like uh, Mick drinks a lot. Well, it would have been a Mick drinks or a, an O, right? Mm-hmm. Like O drinks a lot. Ah, I like that. O drinks a lot. I don't like it. It didn't come out good. Could have done better. Yeah, it's your fault. All right, let's watch his. Uh, he had a little bit of inspiration, and he I, apparently he was a really good speaker, and he. Uh, he helped a lot of, In fact, a lot of people think about times. I kind of like to refer to him as a wise man from Ireland. Yeah. All right, let's, yeah. let's, let's roll tape. Play the clip. And I wouldn't be fond of drinking, but when I go at it, I do go at it awful and very hard. I do have 45 pints in, in about two hours. I'd have a packet of crisps then and maybe an old packet of uh, peanuts. And I'd go for probably, and I'd have 10 more anyway. 
and then I'd get up the following morning and morning I'd have the fry on and I'd go ahead again and there'd be no fucking stopping me I'd take the shirt of any man's back bastards okay so beautiful though I mean it was graceful I, if I had room somewhere I would tattoo at least a quote somewhere one of them I mean there was many there was like so much inspiration behind that now I personally have not heard saints speak but if I were to I feel hear like one, I, did. I, I would feel like we just we, we just, just did. Yeah. 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 So you're welcome. If you guys are going through troubled times, you need any help or inspiration, check out check out Patty Losty. Great speaker. He'll walk you through everything that you need in life. Yeah. All right. Let's get out of Ireland because there's there any shit going on there except for good whiskey, inspiration. Now let me ask something real quick, because of good whiskey and inspiration, tell me something. I, one I, same, I, I, I have to know, they are one and the same, but pubs are a huge thing in Ireland, everybody knows that. Yeah. What's the deal, what's going on? With this whole earthly shutdown, what's happening? I think I think they're all closed down. From what I hear, they're, they're getting hit pretty hard. Right? Do you know about this? I, I don't, that's why I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah. Now, here's my thing, is that do you, do you understand what would happen if, if they shut us down here in Florida, how much we would riot? Well, they tried. I, I feel like that would be times, I don't know, probably at least, my math is bad. <laughs> so far, it's 10, to 20, or maybe 100 times in Ireland. Oh, I, I just can't uh, picture pubs just being shut down in Ireland and then being okay with it. It makes zero sense to me. I don't know. It, they don't talk about anything like that. Does anybody it's know all, about like, this? Statistics. We haven't heard anything. Are the pubs shut down in Ireland? What's going on? Because it yeah. makes zero sense. All I know is Epcot shut down, and I can't go to Rosencrown. And I like that place. Really? Yeah. That's like what you it. do? Yeah, that's what I do. You know what When's I do? When's the last time you did it? Mm, it's probably been about four years ago. Four years ago. It doesn't count anymore. You don't do that all the time. I was in a bad situation, so I had to wait. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to touch on that? Nope. All right. Rather touch on the whiskey. Let's talk about Hanoi. 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 I mean, we're, we're actually being racist right now because I can't they're believe not you Chinese. Hanoi like that. They can't <laughs> they're not Chinese. They're not Chinese. Do you know what? Chinese. <laughs> what? Asshole. <laughs> China is asshole. Hanoi not. Yeah, Hanoi no. is just Hanoi. A normal Vietnamese town. Vietnam. Not no, China. it's actually the capital. A exactly. It's yeah. not the same as China. Totally different. I'd appreciate it if you didn't classify this. Yeah. yeah. They're they're tanner. Is that what it is? Because they're closer to the equator. Just like us here in Florida. Yeah. Anyways, they're very innovative over there. <clears throat> they are very much so. Innovative enough to where now they have a Corona burger. Eating that shit. Mm. Why? Why do you say why would anybody have a Corona burger? Why does it sound appetizing? Now, are they the same ones that came out with the black burger that had the black bun? Was that even real? That was very real, actually. And they used, actually, um, squid ink to dye. It was probably Burger King that did that. I'm pretty they do sure weird, that weird was stuff like Burger that. King, actually. I hate Burger yeah, King. Yeah, and they used squid ink to dye the... It's my least favorite place, as far as fast food goes. Okay, cool. Yeah, mine is McDonald's. It sucks. Is judging me right now? Nope. Wait, you don't like McDonald's? No, I don't. What? No. Not even the french fries? Nope. Oh. Nope. In fact, I get nauseous when I pass by McDonald's. Mm. So if anybody's looking to be a co-host of Whiskey and Why, let me know. I actually don't like McDonald's that much. I, I like them in certain things. So, funny story. I was a uh, vegetarian. What do you mean a co-host? <laughs> like, are you looking for, no, are you you know, looking like, for like, <laughs> kind of nuts or... <laughs> yeah. Or, or you're putting peewee over here. Like, what are you looking I for? I think I just put put the pussy on a pedestal. Did you? You can't. You cannot put the pussy on a pedestal. Yeah. My bad. Fine. Or I mean, in Ireland. You're, you're, told, you're totally breaking your social distances right now. <coughs> Spills a fist bump. Um, Although your wrist scars are looking better. So these? Mm hmm. Because times are getting good with the kids, huh? <laughs> So, okay. I'm not trying to hurt myself. No, but right? you're dog, go ahead. I'm not, I'm, too. I'm not depressed. Mm, wait. First sign of denial. I got a dog. 
So now you're depressed. <laughs> so I'm not going to say I'm not depressed, but I did get a dog. And he is terrible. You see this? You know, animal abuse is not just physical. It's also mental. So you telling him that he's your cause of abuse, that, that's the same. We're getting off subject here. Okay. I was going into a story. Corona burger. About how I was vegetarian for three years. I didn't eat meat. I was younger, but three years, I didn't eat meat. After three years, my first meal was McDonald's. Wow, way to raise the bar. <laughs> I had a quarter pounder. Okay. It was delicious. <laughs> Jeez. So you went from eating vegetables to fake food. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Bring oh. us back to the joy of the Corona Burger. Yeah, go ahead. Introducing the Corona Burger. Mm. You got to eat it to beat it to believe it. The philosophy of one. <laughs> Did you just come up with that? No, I read it. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, scroll back up. All right. <laughs> what is that? You got to eat it to, to beat, beat it. it. That's the philosophy. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you That's my philosophy this of life right now. <laughs> you got to eat it to beat it. That. That needs to be a t-shirt. Dude, that's... Just like China's asshole from the last episode. You gotta eat it to beat it is our next t-shirt. Hmm. Mm. Awesome. All right. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) F this burger. All right, you fucked that one. I don't even want to know about this burger anymore. Anyways, this is a Corona Burger. Anyway, if you can find a Corona Burger, enjoy it, eat it to beat it to believe it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Alright. Well, I'm actually... You're Cuban, right? You got a little... little Cuban in you. Is that what it... Is, is that what you think? You don't? It, is it my big nose? No, that's... Were you thinking... I'm a Scarface the, episode? Like, what, Jew what is it? Okay. You got a little... What? Am I right? Am I right? No. Am I right? Am I right? No, he's not right. No, no? no you're not right. No, I don't have Cuban in me. No. Oh. No. Well, I mean, there's... there's Something like that, ain't you? Um, if you're Are you getting offended right now? Hispanic, yes. <laughs> yes, I yes. am. All right. So you know all about cocaine hippos. I do. <laughs> I mean, I know all about cocaine. I don't know about hippos. Tell them about it. Now, do you automatically assume I know about cocaine because of my big nose? No, I was going for the the Hispanic. Oh, the Hispanic part. Okay. Well, I was going for Cuban, but apparently because you're a touchy subject. I, People hide their blow when they see my big nose come around. I'm just saying. Do a lot of blow, do you? No, I don't. And? But when, if you, if you <laughs> did a lot of blow, would you be afraid of this with your, with your stash? <laughs> no, I feel like you know where the good blow is. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, like two cans. Let's finish up this crap I got. Look at the two can Sam of blow over here. Okay? <laughs> Follow the nose, it knows where it goes. <laughs> Anyway, Pablo Escobar's Cocaine Hippos. If anybody has seen any documentary about Pablo Escobar or even Narcos Mexico, you know that Pablo Escobar had a fascination with hippos. Mm-hmm. Anyway, they may be restoring Colombia's ecosystem. How may you ask? I don't know. Tell us. Please. Now, when I first read this article, the only thing I could think about was... I don't know, probably a, a, a few Colombians just sitting around doing blow, playing Hunger Hunger Hippo. And, yeah. and, yeah, exactly. But that is not what this episode is about, and... It kind of is. It's not, at the moment. Uh, not yet. I feel like there will be an episode fully <laughs> touching on that. We'll get there. Yeah. With your help. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In other words, it means that large herbivores like the hippos in Colombia are playing a biological role similar to that of mammoths and giant sloths. Basically what's happening is that the hippos are rejuvenating the ecosystem down in Colombia because they are now not endangered. Whereas in Africa, they're still being hunted and poached. So in Colombia, they're ready to roam free and spread the good word of the cocaine. Hey, you got a moment to talk about blow? So you imagine a hippo coming so to your doorstep like a Jehovah like, Witness? Uh, cocaine Jehovah Witnesses. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. 
Incredible. Thank you, Papa. Showing up on your jungle doorstep. You got a moment Stop to talk about our Lord and Savior, Pablo. Stop punching me. I barely tapped you. <laughs> oh, look at that. The extinct giant llamas. Oh, you're just... You're going off on a tangent. So basically what you're saying is, is that what was considered a bad thing is now considered a good thing. Sometimes in darkness becomes light. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something. Did you steal that from Patty Flosty? Is that what you translated from what he said? I mean, he did say that. He, he did. I'm pretty sure everything. Everything. Exactly. <laughs> Any inspiration that yeah. you can think Mind of. Mind you, we are on an Irish episode, so of course I'm quoting him. God. It's okay. This Eric is full of surprises. Yeah, well, you want to replace me, so remember that. No. <laughs> I wanted to replace the co-host, which we don't even have one of those yet, because we're both the main host. Good save, pal. So speaking of pals, you know, I don't get it. There was... Do you know what? He pulls this thing out every time because he knows that I feel like it ruins the set. It just, it ruins everything that we got going on here. And he's just like, <laughs> oh, uh-huh. <laughs> why? Why don't you so tell them why you do it? Because <laughs> it bothers you. <laughs> See what I mean? It bothers you. Just leave it alone. It's fine. Alright, speaking of fine. We've actually had a few people ask about that. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I know. Did you answer them? No. Okay. Um, since we're talking about coronavirus. Wait, what's, what's this article though? What? So, UK medical fetish store, right? Because we're traveling the whole world right now. It's called MetFet. Oh. They have donated all their role play scrubs to public hospitals. Are you serious? I don't know if you know anything about the site, but like, uh, it's a medical fetish company in the UK has revealed it was compelled to donate disposable scrubs used for sexual role play to local hospitals due to extreme shortages. Okay. I think this is amazing. Have you ever heard of that? Wait, they're all out. Huh? Yeah, they're out. Like they donated everything. What, have you heard of the site? No, it's fine, don't worry about it. I mean, what, you never been there? I mean, you didn't read off anything about like a... Methyl specula or... Mm. What? Dental gag, don't worry about it, it's fine. Alright, um... Have you been here? Have you been on the site before? No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I mean, it's it's just a. I mean, I I I don't like the fact that they're. I'm almost shaming. Go ahead. Well, Metfet UK is an online store describing itself as a hundred percent dedicated to the medical fetish. I don't oh, know. This is weird. It's a fetish. Oh, take it easy, bud. Well, well I mean, like, who, who said it's a fetish? So I mean, these people, they I guess they wear scrubs and they get like these doctor tools and shit. I don't know what. They what just, they just do things. Let them live, dude. Are you into this stuff? No, it's fine. I've never seen it. Just again. Well, so I guess they do weird things. They have like uh, medical what? tools. Me what? Medical medical tools? Is that what you call that? I don't know. I'm not. I wouldn't doctor. call a a specula a tool. It's more of a device, if you will. Okay. Fine, it's like, it's, like a, it's like a spreader. So they donated everything to help with coronavirus. I think that's pretty awesome. I mean, it's a little weird that the meta, this medical fetish thing, I don't, I don't know about that. Now it's a fetish? Now it's a fetish. What's the problem? It's fine. Why are you getting so defensive about it? I'm just asking it? about it, that's all. You know, you're the one that's, that's diving deep into this that doesn't know anything about it, so I'm just asking. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know about half the shit we you talk know, about You know, my today. mom used to tell me one thing. If you don't know something, just, just sit quiet. Oh my Clear, god. Clearly, you're talking about it like it's, uh, you know, the greatest thing since... Are you into this? Look, I... 
No, I've, I've had a, I've had a, I've had a thing or two. Don't worry about it. All right. You're not into it. Don't worry about it. I can't worry hey. about it. Well, <laughs> that's apparently that's the end of our show. So. No, like give give me a moment here, okay? Because like I, I'm still wondering where these dental gags and everything went. They well, all were donated. Are you talking about they're all donated now? <laughs> everything is gone. I don't know. I. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Thought you would have liked. Well, this no, story. that explains why the website just kept doing the ticker thing when I was. So on. you do. Look, I, I was just hey, researching. Cheers from Ireland. Ireland. Take care of yourselves. Until next time. Yeah, medical fetishes. See ya.